Marvel vs. Capcom – Infinite Possibilities When it comes to assembling a list for the next Marvel vs. Capcom game, I'll admit I got a little overzealous. A roster of 100 playable characters split right down the middle between Marvel and Capcom? That's like asking a kid in a candy store to only pick 50 sweets. But hey, it's a challenge I'm up for. Firstly, on the Marvel side, let's get the obvious out of the way. You need to have all the poster characters. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Wolverine, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange. I could go on, but you get the picture. They sell games. They're the faces of Marvel for a good reason. But I'd also advocate for some left-field choices. Moon Knight, She-Hulk, and Shang-Chi are getting more popular by the day, and would add some fresh movesets. Just imagine the environmental chaos with She-Hulk's superhuman strength, or Shang-Chi's martial arts mastery. Let's not stop there. Throw in characters like Silver Surfer, board mechanics anyone? And Squirrel Girl, come on, just for the fun factor. Switching gears to Capcom, you start with the royalty, Ryu, Chun-Li, Mega Man, and Dante. These are the ones the fans are begging for, they're pretty much a given. But again, let's dig deeper. Bring in some underrepresented franchises. Amaterasu from Okami would be visually stunning with ink-based attacks. Regina from Dino Crisis, because who wouldn't want to see a battle-hardened agent taking a bite out of crime with dinosaur-fighting expertise? And let's not forget Phoenix Wright, because the courtroom has never been more, or at all, represented in a fighting game. His objection? Let's have it launch the opponent into the air for a combo. It would be both ridiculous and delightful, which is what these games thrive on. For storytelling, well, I'd lean into the chaos. The script would need to be just as bold as the roster. Picture this. A crossover event causes universes to collide, creating a patchwork world with merging physics, Capcom characters gaining Marvel powers, and vice versa. The goal? Restore balance before realities unravel for good. Key to the narrative would be unlikely partnerships and character growth, taking cues from classic buddy cop movies. Imagine Dante and Deadpool's snark off, or Doctor Strange mentoring Ryu in the mystical arts. Each matchup would add layers to the storyline, offering unique sub-stories that bring depth to the mayhem. The villains would be front and center, too. They're brewing the chaos, after all. Think cosmic horror with a touch of Resident Evil's bioweapons, a blend of Thanos-level threat with Capcom-style monstrosity. It creates a story that's as big as the giant roster we're playing with, yet grounded in personal stakes as worlds and lives are on the line. The climax? A battle where every character's skill set is crucial, irrespective of their power level. Think Endgame Avengers, but cranked up to an 11. Meticulous teamwork, across gaming lore and comic book panels. After all, isn't that the point of a Marvel vs. Capcom mesh-up? Everyone has their moment. Of course, this is just scratching the surface. Only half the fun is creating this hypothetical mega-roster. The other half is pondering how they'd all interact. I'd leave threads open for potential sequels, because let's be real. No one wants to stop at just one epic crossover. Especially not when you live in a place like Portland, where creativity and a love for the weird and wonderful flourish. Who you'd choose and the story you'd tell with such a colossal cast, that's part of the fun. So what do you think? Got any wildcard choices for the roster or story twists that would keep players on their toes? Let's mix it up. That's the Marvel vs. Capcom way.